Hi, my name is Ruta and I'm doing 100 days of awesome hair days, hair diary, where I also share my moods as I go along. And today we are on a day 62, I think. This should be probably accurate because I think we are back on track after jumping from one hairstyle to another. And today's hairstyle is headband, headband, twist and tuck. So for that we need all over hairband, so some sort of hairband that you have or you would like. It could be decorative, it could be simple, it doesn't really matter as long as it goes um, around the head and has some elastic aspect in it. And also hairspray and hair grips if you have, I think would be really good. So, step number one. We start with completely dry hair. We can, you can add some curl and tuck texture if you want to, but you don't have to. So, I'm not gonna add anything. I'm just gonna go with what I've got. And I'm also just kind of like doing slight parting on the side. I'm not sure how that's gonna work, but I'm just like at the front for it to have a bit of like kind of fall towards that direction. I'm gonna brush my hair that way. Okay, next step is um, we basically take the hairband on headband, I think it's called headband. And we starting the right side. So first step, putting the headband on and starting on the right side of our head we take a section of the hair and wrap it up and over the rolled band pulling the ends through the other side of the band and then take the same section of hair include new section as well and wrap it up and over the rolled band again. So repeat this technique until you get to the middle of the back of your head and then repeat the same technique on the other side. Use a medium hold hairspray. And I can already feel my hair sweating. So basically, we start with the section of the hair and we take it and we wrap around the hair band and we pull it out like this. Then we take extra hair with that old section and then we wrap it around hairband, headband and we pull it out like this. And then we continue to do so until we go to the back of our, uh, like in the middle, about middle of our hair. Uh, you know where you if you would do parting like this at the nape of your neck if it would be last bit On the right hand side that would be where it ends. So I'm using some hair from the previous hair Strand and I'm adding extra and I pull it through And then I do the same and because my hair is quite long I think at the end I'm actually gonna need to probably wrap it around a few times maybe so I'm wrapping this hair strand here and now I'm I think I'm kind of approximately around where the middle is and I have pretty long hair strand so I'm just gonna like put it in and pull it out and then do that once more just to secure that hair bit and I think I'm gonna then finish once I'm, I'll have the same thing on this side okay so on this side we do exactly the same oh I like how it looks like I actually expected it to be a little bit more flimsy but it looks like it's holding pretty well because I think I tried to do it sometime before but it didn't really work very well for me uh, and then I given up. I was like, okay, my hair is too silky and it, everything just kind of like a slips out. 
Okay, so that's first bit. Now I add some extra hair. I'm just wrapping around the hair band, headband, and I'm pulling out. Then I'm adding extra strand there and I'm doing it again. I think you can do it either in a very neat way or you can even have your hair a bit messy, curled up because probably it would work either way. It's not very kind of complex technique. As long as it has some elastic, it's pretty easy to kind of just, you know, take and wrap it around. Wow, very nice. I'm gonna turn around slightly so you can see how it looks like. So, as you can see, I'm just taking the strand and I'm pushing it right through the hair. And now I can feel, okay, I probably have a couple more rounds to do. But this is already the other section. Okay, so I'm already starting to incorporate Hair from the other side probably so it feels pretty neat actually so what I'm gonna do now with this last bit I'm just gonna wrap it around a few times through whichever place I can feel I can it through and then I'm just gonna tuck this side strand like in here and you can't really see it okay I'm gonna go ah yeah no you can see it but if I tuck it under this bit here no you can't see it okay I'm gonna go and check how it looks from the back if there is anything that needs. Oh, I checked it from the back and it looks pretty good it had one bit sticking out but actually, it looks pretty neat, which was like, what? I did it and nothing is really sticking out. <laughs> ah. Okay. Going for a bit of dangly earrings, but just, just the kind of tiny ones because I think this is jazzy enough. Um, yeah, I think you could do this bit higher. You can kind of put it up if you wanted. I keep it like this for now because I think it's cute. And yeah, it's probably very much kind of like 20s, um, you know, when they had this kind of like a short straight dresses. I don't remember how it's called, that style, foxtrot type of style. But I, I think actually, especially for a long hair, it's very cool to have this kind of option to make it look short. And it's not in a ponytail, it's, it's not somewhere, but it looks like in a shape and it looks cool. Yeah, and I don't know, this dress well actually does go with it. It's kind of weirdly modern, strange, cool, I think. Apart from that naughty hair right there. Okay, emotionally how I feel? I feel actually still that I really need to rest. I still feel that I, um, well, yesterday we ended up going in the restaurant and I think all I wanted to do after my intense weekend well, or one thing that I wanted to do, because I also was going into another work straight away, I think I just wanted to have some time, like, like really downtime, you know? Downtime is when you don't, to me, is when you don't go out, when you don't really socialize, when you don't really dress up, when you don't need to, you know, like, worry about anything really, and you can really have like a downtime or like a minimum energy requiring type of, activity where you can just watch some k-dramas or read a book and that's that so so that's that's me so i think my mood today um well it would be pretty good i don't feel any kind of like an emotional you know like blocks or or anything like in particular but i have a bit of a problem because my finger oh, it really really hurts and um, also that kind of like um, feeling that I've been doing double shifts, I guess. But I think that's what it takes when you go from one career into another, when you have something, but you starting something else and there is this period of transitioning. 
So I think I feel probably seven and a half, seven right now, considering that I think my physical self would like to have some downtime. Also my mental self, I would like to have some downtime, but there are some things that cannot wait, some documents that I need to fill. So yeah, that's another thing that is going on. But other than that, I feel like my life is very interesting, very kind of like a full, so I don't feel any kind of stagnation, which is something that people would, and it's worth, so basically the effort, the effort and the energy and the intensity invested is worth it. Because, especially when you work in something or onto something which is really meaningful for you, it's fine to actually put some effort because you don't feel like, you know, it feels like you investing it in something that is worth investing. So it doesn't really feel like something has been taken away from you. It feels like you contributed something that you believe in for that thing to be even bigger, even more powerful. And it kind of like connects you to that thing even closer. Right, so I didn't really end up using hairspray today. I don't know if I need to. Um, maybe I'm not gonna use it because I washed my hair recently. So I wanna actually keep it as much chemical free as possible for as long as possible. I don't know what other hairstyles I'm gonna have. Uh, maybe it's gonna be variation of this one. But yeah, that's that for today. So I wish you for today to also invest your energy in something which you feel like is worth course, investing your family, your friends, but more importantly, something that you really believe in and something that is important to you personally. Thank you for watching and have a nice evening and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.